today you have joined us for the Bob Russ putting technique conversation. I'm here with Tim from Tacoma. How's it going? We're very calm and relaxed right now. Just thinking about painting pretty little trees. Maybe grab a glass of wine. Yeah, sit honestly. Sit down and enjoy this conversation <laughs> about putting. Yeah, so today we're going to do a little putting conversation, talk about a couple things that help us on the greens. We both have a playful, fun, creative approach to the game. Um, a lot less structured, you know, rigid. technique, rigid. I think that's the big thing for me when it comes to putting, and that's one of the biggest things we have in common. I was very rigid. I thought I had to be like perfect. Yep. Hit all the positions. Yep. And then like, okay, take it back to your foot and then follow through to here. Yep. No feel whatsoever. Yes. And and I'm an artist at heart, right? Like music and just Me too. that's that's the Me expression. Too. So and then you realize like this feels foreign it is it's the wrong technique absolutely yeah and we both are very creative artistic people i can't say whether or not this is going to work for a more analytical or, or right. logically minded person but all i know is that if you are a creative and artistic person i think it would do you well to approach the game with a creative fun light playful air absolutely so you want to just hit some putts and talk through yeah, it hit some and putts uh, i'll talk. hit some putts yeah talk about what we're thinking talk about what we're feeling an important thing for a lot of people to remember when it comes to putting is that outside of five feet, the percentage to make a putt are not that high. You just need to understand realistic expectations also helps. Because even if you had the perfect locked off technique, you're still not making 90% of those. Realistic expectations helps me relax. Yeah, and the cool thing about like being playful and fun and creative about it is a lot more of your putts actually have a chance. Like maybe they're not perfect, but they're kinda, they're struck well, they're kinda online. If they catch the right bounces and breaks, they could go in versus sometimes when I get way too technique oriented, I miss hit them, they have poor speed, they don't hit the line whatsoever and they really don't go in. So if you guys haven't already caught on, I like to take a fun, creative and playful approach to the game. So one thing that I have had to look at in my game in order to support that is the equipment that I'm using. So this year, lately, I've been using the Swag, the Boss Putter, a great putter. However, I've noticed that it doesn't evoke that playful, creative approach to the game. And that is because growing up, I have always used a blade putter and I've always been able to feel like that's, that's more just the paintbrush that works for me. So I'm gonna be switching back to the Blade Putter. This is the Handsome 2 by Swag Golf. And even though I just decided today that I'm gonna be making the switch, the past couple hours have been great. Just being able to be creative and uh, rolling more putts in. You were talking oh. earlier about how you visualize yeah. the putt. And I think that when you said it, because I had a similar idea, but you made it more specific. Yeah. And I'm absolutely 100% gonna steal it. Yeah. So I think I think it's gold. Yeah. I have a few different ways that I like to visualize putts um, that put me in that creative, feel-oriented mindset where I just let my eyes do the take in the information and let my body just kind of react to what is requested of me. First, you you take in information and you see like, what does the putt really ask of me as opposed to imposing upon it, this, the it breaks this way, I'm going to hit it left edge. It's like, no, like be open to the possibilities here. Like what exactly am I seeing? Where exactly, where's the high point? Where does it enter into the hole? Like at what angle on the hole? What time on the clock, you know, six o'clock, seven o'clock, I love it. See, you drain so many with this approach. Just focus on, on the practice stroke. It's not about perfect back and forth, distant, whatever. It's I wanna feel a playful feeling. I wanna feel like free and almost like I'm just painting with the putter stroke. Mm -hmm. I'm just painting a line yeah. and having fun with it. And then you step up and just paint that same line yeah. more or less and then let the ball go. Yeah. Um, it feels so much more free, so much more relaxed. Definitely. And then also I found I'm not as upset with the result if it doesn't go Absolutely, in. Absolutely, because you at least had fun doing it. Exactly. Absolutely. I've definitely That's experienced important. that, yeah. right? Because if you're over it stressing about it and then you miss it, you're even more pissed. Mm -hmm. But if you step up to it and you're like, this is a fun opportunity. How good would it feel to make this putt? I don't know. Let's give it a try. Whoop. And then it, yep. it, it misses. You're like, well, 
That was a good effort. At least I liked the way it felt when I hit that putt, yeah. right? So I've definitely experienced that. And I remember, like, I played lots of tournament golf. I, I freaking reference that all the time. But in case you haven't watched any of my videos, you don't know anything about me, I played a lot of tournament golf. In a lot of tournaments where I, I putted really well under pressure, under pressure, was when I just considered it fun, considered mm -hmm. it an opportunity, and, and treated it as this, this creative like endeavor. And I took the pressure off of it as of this needs to go in. I need to be perfect. I, I, you know, I have to make the perfect stroke. I have to have the perfect setup. I have to get the perfect line. It's like, no, it's really, it's open to interpretation. And so basically that leads into this visualization that I wanna give you guys about this trough putt. So it really is open to interpretation. There is no one perfect putt. You can read it for a slow, slow line or a, a harder, firmer line. I know on Golf Channel they have that those those kind of lines for like a, a firm speed mm -hmm. putt. It's it's a it's an inside line, and for a lighter speed putt, they have this kind of outside line path that you can take for it. So there is no one perfect way to hit a putt. It's always a creative endeavor. You marry the line and the speed together, and when they match up. The ball goes in the hole, right? I like to imagine a trough. I'm gonna take this out because I also creatively like to imagine the hole being really nice and big. It just helps my, my psyche and my attitude when I step up to a putt. So the visualization that I wanna leave you guys with here, now that we've explained kind of the, the mental approach to this, is this trough visualization. So I like to imagine a trough uh, about the same width of the hole right here making its way back to my golf ball. This is a little bit left to right coming off the hill here. I've crouched down, I've given it a read, I, I, I opened my arms to the potentials of what this putt could be, and I just allowed the information in as opposed to imposing my will upon this putt that it's a left edge putt, you know? So I see the read, I kind of figure out the, the high point, and I see that trough making its way back to my golf ball. And visualizing that trough it takes pressure off of needing to be perfect. Um, and it also gives you that same sort of like idea for the, the path that your putter needs to follow in order to keep the ball inside of that trough. The ball can be anywhere in this trough and still go in the hole. It can be on the left edge of the trough, it can be on the right edge of the trough, but you've got a whole trough to, to keep this golf ball in. And yeah, it's just a really helpful, fun visualization for me. Let's see if I can. Yes, sir, we can. And so another thing that helps a lot addressing the physiology of maintaining this fun, creative mindset is an exhale. You guys always see me talk about that, hear me talk about that, and you just saw me do it before that putt. I put a little bit of pressure on myself by saying, can I do it after explaining it all? And in order to release that pressure from my body physiologically, you just exhale and you just feel the ease in your chest, in your limbs, and you just allow that putter to flow and you allow that ball to roll right on into the hole. It's like the number of putts we've made in this video is actually insane. <laughs> and so if that doesn't convince you to at least attempt addressing putting with this really fun, open, creative, playful mindset. Mm -hmm. I don't know what will because we've yeah. really we've really executed nicely. Yeah, here. absolutely. <laughs> and uh, had a lot of fun doing it, right? Honestly, it's so much more relaxed to approach it this way. Yeah. Most of my time that I've spent golfing, I have not enjoyed putting. The experience of putting. I love putting. because I'm so because, well, I was just so rigid and I was so scared of the yeah, result. Yeah, absolutely. This, if it goes in, it's like awesome. But even yeah. if it doesn't, I just enjoy that feel yeah. of painting that pit for me it's that paint stroke for you it's that trough like that yeah. visual i just enjoy that happening and then oh look, the ball went in like it's so much more free so absolutely. much more fun so absolutely you definitely need to try this uh -huh. uh, i think it would help a lot of golfers yeah definitely well this was really fun this is a little putting conversation with claire and tim hopefully that was helpful to you guys uh comment below i'm actually very interested to hear what your thoughts are on this how you approach Putting, uh, it's my favorite part of the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the Combo's channel. I'll have a link below. Tap the bell notification to get notified whenever I post. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.